What's up guys? I've got another what, why, how for you today. And we're talking about the crossover symmetry package here, which is basically some, some different resistance bands that you can hook up in your gym, in your home. You can take them with you when you travel. Uh, so I want to just kind of show you how to use these. First of all, it's what it is is just a package of different resistance resistances of bands that either attach to your your squat rack like so or you can anchor them onto the wall no matter whether you're in your gym or at home but they've got different resistances to them the different colors kind of tell you which ones are kind of color coded and then they also come with what I thought was kind of cool and we use this a lot is a little hanging picture diagram of the different exercises based on what you're trying to do. So they've got the, the strength side. On the other side, they've got an activation side. So it's pretty cool when you just want to come in, you want to get a few different exercises done. You don't have to remember what they are. You can just kind of look at the different grid. Or if you're a fitness professional and you want to run some of your clients through some of the different activation patterns, you can simply hang this thing up on your your rack or put it in front of them hanging on the wall and that way they know exactly what they're going to do you can also obviously if you're a fitness professional most of us make up a lot of our own exercises as well so you can do a lot of different things with these bands now why would a golfer want to use these things first thing is it creates it's a way to, to develop tension with just a band so you can change angles you can change directions they're very easy to travel with. You can put them in your golf bag. You can put them in your travel bag if you're going to a hotel room or something. So they're really easy to use. I like using bands in certain exercises or again, just to change things up because the tension is different than if you were using a dumbbell or even if you were using a cable. If you've ever used bands, you note know that as you push away, so for instance, if I'm pressing, the resistance gets is the hardest at the end range of the motion. That's not true when you're working with a, a cable. A cable stays consistent all the way on the way out as well as on the way back. This one gets harder as you go out. So locking out that end range position is going to be just a different dynamic, a different strength curve. So it really trains your muscles differently than other pieces of equipment do. So that's, that's one reason why you would want to put bands in your program at some point, just some variety. Again, with these, you can change the angles really easily. The, the crossover system, the different exercises they have are, are generally based on either a low position or a high position. But again, there's so many different exercises that you can use for a band that you could, you could put them at any level that you want to. And we've mentioned this in other videos, but the shoulder blades, or the muscles around the shoulder blades, I should say, your rotator cuff, all the muscles in between the shoulder blades and your upper back are so important for a golfer because we need to be able to hold postures, we need to be able to swing through with power, but be able to stabilize those shoulders in order to rotate through and get that power through our arms and hands out to the club. These are specifically designed to work on the shoulder blades. Primarily, that's, that's kind of their whole motto is getting scap jacked so you're working on your scapula, the, which are also the shoulder blades. So just wanna show you a couple exercises that you can do with these. You can also use regular rubber bands to do some of these. It's just this system really makes it easy to, uh, to set it up properly. So I've just got the two different bands set up you know, at about you know, eye height or so. And I'm gonna show you a couple different exercises where first one's going to be working on the shoulder blades and really working on kind of a rowing motion where you could do rowing down low. Again, I'm going to crisscross them. That's why it's called crossover. I'm going to crisscross them. You can row down low. You could row in the middle. And then you can even, you know, row up high. So sometimes I'll have my clients do all three of those just to hit all of those different angles. Really squeezing back in the lats, the shoulder blades, all of those different positions. Then you can turn around 
And there's a lot of, uh, obviously, a lot of different exercises that they have for the, the scapula there. You can turn around and do it in kind of a pushing fashion. So now I'm getting kind of that pressing motion where I'm letting it come all the way back, nice big full range of motion, and then I'm pressing it all the way out, coming all the way back, pressing it all the way out. And then you can even add in just some, some shoulder blade or scapula retractions and protractions. So basically I'm kind of pulling my shoulder blades back, pushing my shoulder blades forward. And these are really, this is a unique exercise because you don't normally feel the muscles under your shoulder blades and under your lats, but you're going to feel it in this. When you press outward and kind of round out the shoulders, you're going to feel all those muscles underneath. Those are the ones that really also help stabilize the shoulder blade. And then of course, with golfers, we always like to have ways of doing rotation and creating different ways to challenge the body in rotational fashions. So you can grab this, you could square your feet off. You can do rotations straight across. You can stagger your feet, create a little instability or imbalance here. Rotate across that way. There's an endless amount of exercises you could do. You could take it all the way down and work on kind of a little lifting motion, rotating and lifting all kinds of different exercises. So again, if you haven't checked out the crossover symmetry system, I want to just give you an idea of what it was, you know, why you would use it, how you can use it, and why I tend to use it a lot here with our golfers in our gym, and why we recommend it as one of the you know, preferred products from 18 Strong. So if you want any more information on these, you can go to crossoversymmetry.com. We've also got the link down below that you can go check it out and look at all the different packages that they have. They've got all different tensions that you know, some may suit you um, a little lighter, a little heavier, whatever you might need. Train hard, practice smart, and play better golf.